I'm Stephen Jones. I'm Programme Leader and Lecturer in Graphic Design at QBird University. Hi, my name's Dora and I'm a course lead for Games Design and also a lecturer on the course. Hi, my name's Del Pike and I'm the course lead on the Move and Image Production course at the Hugh Bird University. This is the graphics room. Come on in. So originally I came and I done year zero, obviously I didn't have an idea, I knew I was good at arts and I fell in love with graphic design, mainly because I could work from anywhere in the world. Uh, only since September, I'm a year, year one student so yeah. No. Been here five years. I do enjoy it. I really enjoy it. Yeah, I enjoy working with the students and I enjoy all the creativity. It's great. So I've recently just graduated off my bachelor's degree um, last year in moving image. So it has been ten years since I actually got into the media industry. But so far, I've only been teaching for a year. I've absolutely loved it. It's been an amazing experience. And yeah, I'm hoping to get into this field even further. Um, so I've worked at Hubert for now three years. Um, I really enjoy it. Every day is a different day, so you never know what challenges um, come at you each day. <laughs> I do enjoy it. I, I've worked in this position for exactly a year, a year yesterday. It started 19th of April 2022, and it's now um, 20th of April 23 and I do enjoy it, it's a great job. Um, I've been really you know, welcomed into the university centre, both by fellow members of staff and um, the students that I've worked with. It's just been fantastic. This is the games room, welcome in. My course in the creative side of things, I have to teach a certain amount of hours within my specialist subject. It requires me to become adaptable and adjust my teaching methods so that the students get the best opportunities that they can. But that also means that I get to be creative too, so it's a really great medium. Um, but yeah, it requires me to be able to get the students to successfully produce industry standard filming, particularly filming, there's also theory, but industry standard filming that will result in them getting careers in the media industry. Uh, we run two courses in graphic design, the foundation degree, which is a two year course, and followed by the BA, uh, bachelor's uh, in, in arts um, uh, top-up degree and so that takes most students start the foundation degree and then go into their uh, BA for that final year so it's a very uh, uh, broad uh, subject uh, there's lots of different branches to graphic design and it's just a very creative subject and we'd like to uh, try many sort of different aspects to the creative process and encourage the students to um, really um, just express themselves creatively but then also following type briefs. The course is to set students up 
uh, as professionals in the, in the media industry, particularly in the moving image. So it's video production and it's film studies, essentially. Um, we do all sorts of stuff. We make uh, short, well, make short films, um, some of them are like fictional, and we do documentaries and promos, adverts, and we work quite a lot with real live people as well. Um, in the outside world, so make, making promotional videos for small companies and such. Um, also, we do uh, work experience as well, so we send students out on work experience and we have trips to various places too, like York and London and hopefully New York next year with a bit of luck. So, my course in the creative side of things, I have to teach a certain amount of hours within my specialist subject. It requires me to become adaptable and adjust my teaching methods so that the students get the best opportunities that they can. But that also means that I get to be creative too, so it's a really great medium. Um, but yeah, it requires me to be able to get the students to successfully produce industry standards filming, particularly filming, there's also theory, but industry standard filming, that will result in them getting careers in the media industry. Just the, the size of the classes really, I feel you get like a, a proper independent, more learning, Obviously, every time Ed Chill is good, but um, I think the size of the classes are really going to be beneficial to anyone in, in terms of if you're studying any degree. Uh, I think you get a real one to one um, it, learning, um, which is really effective in terms of studying. Um, I've got dyslexia as well, so I think um, for any learning type, it's been really effective to get a more one to one based uh, teacher learning uh, um, experience. Uh, there's a lot to enjoy, yeah. There's uh, the people, you know, always coming in, uh, seeing the same faces, uh, all your friends uh, and stuff like that. Uh, the work, the work's brilliant. You get to do a lot of creative stuff, you know, and you don't have to be cramming a load of writing. You know, you can just get to do something that you enjoy and actually utilise, you know, what's there in your head and in your imagination. Uh, so, yeah, there, there is, there's a lot to enjoy about it. Probably working with other creatives, really. Um, yeah, I'd say working with other creatives and yeah, I can't think of more. Well, <laughs> think of anything else on the spot. Yeah, there's so the art community, other creatives, different courses with graphic design. Obviously, I mix quite a lot. So yeah, I'm gonna miss the creative miss mixing with loads of people. This is our moving image classroom. Come on in. finished my final year in moving image I'd like to progress on to um, my teacher training degree and um, that will be a 12 month and um, you've got the option to do two but you can do it over 12 months and yeah, that'll be a level seven qualification that obviously hopefully will be I'd like long term to be teaching um, media studies wherever around the world in the UK or even in America you never know. At the moment I'm getting ready to become a freelancer and I'm launching my own um, design. Eventually, once I take on more, more work, I'll be an agency. So the company is called um, Divergent Designer, and I want to work with all people with neurodiverse different conditions. So hopefully, well, watch this space. I could be quite big. Uh, well, since I'm year one, it's actually going to be. Uh, 
to come back for next year. But then after that, I'm hoping to um, get some kind of career in graphic design. I would like to say to prospective students of Hubert, I would like to say, if you come here, you get a very different experience to what you get elsewhere. It's very quiet, it's very small, it's a really safe environment. If you don't want to go somewhere that's got really big crowds and large classrooms, then we're definitely the place to come to. Um, and you just get that one-to-one -one support from your tutors. Um, I'd like to uh, encourage anyone who feels they are uh, interested in the creative process, interested in the visual arts, interested into, in, in design, and uh, really encourage them to join us here in the graphics design, um, on the graphics courses and I uh, think you know, they would uh, really uh, enjoy their time at QBED. Um, so future students that want to come onto the course, um, make sure you enjoy like being creative, um, make sure um, you can like create a portfolio that will give you um, a chance um, to apply for the course. Um, most of all like having fun and um, what you're doing um, and what you're creating um, if you're interested in games but you don't know how they're created you get to learn that on this course um, you get to like learn how to make all like the different aspects um, from A to Z so we introduce it to you bit by bit so by the end you get to know kind of everything and it's a very like well-rounded course if you're not sure what area in game in like the games industry you want to go into what i the advice i would give is to always trust yourself a lot of the times we a lot of people put themselves down so for example if you'd have asked me five years ago would i be teaching i'd have said no straight away but it's amazing to be able to express ourselves creatively and it's amazing to be able to put that on to the next generation of people so to suggest people to do their teaching degree 100 percent especially if it's in a field that you absolutely love and we're better to do it other than Hubert University.